Hello everyone, I'm Easy Life, and today I'm here to bring you guys a new guide. I'm gonna teach you guys how to properly pick, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that with the rifle and also with the knob. So you guys get to know how to properly abuse that sweet picker's advantage. Let's go. Okay guys, real quick, before we go into the game, I want you guys to check this awesome paint hard. If you learn how to properly pick, you will not only make it harder for your enemies to kill you, you will also be able to outplay them and win more duels because of that. So before I teach you how to properly pick, there's two things I want you guys to learn first and have always in your mind. And that is first, your agent's model in relation to the wall that you're about to pick from. So let's pay attention to the left side of this drawing first. And I want you guys to always know that your agent's model will always, as you see his neck, will always lean towards the hand which is holding the gun, okay? because he's checking the iron side of that gun as we can see the viper here doing and i want you guys to know this only matters what is uh like the information only matters server side uh, so it doesn't matter if you change your settings to the left side or the view model like to the left side it will still uh, be leaning towards the right side like he's holding the gun on the right side so this is uh, very important for you guys to know because now let's go to the right side of this painting real quick because if you're on this side of a wall, for example, and somebody is here about to pick you, then you will see your shoulder, your left shoulder, way earlier, just because it's more beefy. As you see, like this, uh, your your vision will be in the in the middle, obviously, but as you see, this is way leaner than this part of the body, just because he's leaning towards that, like I have in this perfect statement you know so now let's go to the right side and this is the second thing that I, I want you guys to have in the back of your mind and that is the distance that you and your enemy have between the wall that you're about to pick from so if you're sitting in this corner and your enemy is clearing angles and is coming from here then as you see in this drawing right here you will be able to spot your shoulder way before you're able to see him and now we can go to the game so i can explain this better okay now that we're in game let me explain you the point number one uh your view models um like your agent's view model so basically if i'm picking from here as you see my left this left side of my body is more beefy like it shows more than the right side of my body so if i pick from here to here then i'll, I'll have more pickers advantage because you won't be able to see my whole body that quick. Now, if I want to pick from here to there, it will be a lot easier for my enemy to react to me because my shoulder will be appearing way sooner than I'm actually able to see him, okay? Now, if we go to the second point, the second thing that I want you guys to have in your minds is that if you're close to an angle, like if you're closer to an angle to the, to the wall, than your enemy actually is, then as you see here, I'm not able to see him and I can even be holding like this, but I'm, I, I won't be able to see him and all the right side of my body, all this part of my body is actually showing to him is his, if he is further away from the angle, okay? And this is very important for you guys to know and always have in your minds uh, when you're playing the game. So you can think for yourselves, am I in a good position or am I in a bad position? And then if you ask yourself those questions and you have those two things that I just teached you in your minds, then you'll be able to reposition before you die. I actually have a clip here uh, that I mid game on a clutch situation, I was able to ask myself those two questions and then I was able to reposition and because of that, I didn't die. So I had 3 HP and I'm about to do a 1v2 clutch. I get the first kill and I think uh, I'm 3 HP, uh, I need to, to get cover. So I hide here. But then while I'm hiding and while I'm thinking about I need to hide, I ask myself the question like, will I be in a, an advantage position if I I'm tuck into the corner no because you will see my shoulder first even though i'm even though the wall is on my left it will still be an advantage to him because of the distance so i thought i need to actually go further back from the angle because 
then I'll have the advantage because I'll be the one that is further away from the from the angle and I'll be able to react to him because then he will be showing first and not me. Okay, now that you know the most important stuff, let's get to the mechanical part. I'm gonna teach you all the picks there are and I'm gonna teach you what is each, how to do it and when to use it. So there is, I'm gonna teach you the wide pick, the quick pick, the jiggle pick, and the jump pick. The most common mistake I see low elo people do it, like low elo players, is they will use the white pick 100% of the time. So what is the white pick? The white pick is basically when you swing an angle, like wide, when you wide swing an angle. And this leaves you in the middle of nowhere with no possible coming back to, to cover. And that means that you'll be able to get one kill, but probably that's just it. And if you want to carry, you don't want to put yourself in those positions. Like you want to put yourself in those positions the least amount of times possible. So when do you actually want to white pick? I'd say white picking is only viable if you know that you're in a 1v1 duel, not a 1v1 situation, a 1v1 duel. Uh, uh, and, and, and that means like you get info that there's only one guy here and then yeah if there's only one guy there you can white pick because when you white pick you force your enemy to do a bigger flick and as everyone knows wider flicks uh, bigger flicks are more like are harder to eat so that's why you want to use the white pick or why you would want to use a white pick but what i recommend you to do is to bait before you do the white pick like bait is crosshair to get close to an angle before you white pick because some people are able to predict a white pick and they'll have uh, their crosshair always already um, ready for the white pick and if you see Sub Rosa, the professional player for TSM playing, if you see his highlights, he's always holding angles like this and that's the reason why. So you want to bait him to put his crosshair here before you white pick and that makes us go to the next pick which is the quick pick. Now let's talk about quick picking. Quick picking is when you quickly pick and go back to cover after. This is a heavy mechanical type of pick and you'll need to know how to properly counter strafe. I already made a video about how to properly counter strafe in my YouTube channel and if you haven't watched that yet, then I'll link it at the end of this video. So there's two ways that you can actually do this. You can either counter strafe, stop, shoot, go back and you can do it like this or you can do it everything at the same time if you're good enough to time it correctly like I explained in my previous video. You can use this mechanic just to bait. You can even do it without any intentions of actually hitting your target, forcing his aim to be here because he wants to kill you the next time that you pick and when you do that then you white pick him and get the kill. Now the jiggle pick. Jiggle picking is when you only show your shoulder. You're not even seeing the guy, you're just showing your shoulder. And like I explained at the start of this video, this works best if you do it from this angle. And this is a pretty good mechanic to use when you want to bait an upper shot. Because when he's holding the angle, you will only be able to see your arm going to the, to, the, to the right and back to cover and it will make it harder for him to hit the shot and most people's reaction is uh, to, to try and shoot like instantly and fail the shot. And now if he fails the shot, he will have to reload and you can use that timing to get more space into the map. Now, like the quick pick, you can use it to bait the rifle and then, and then white pick. Okay, now let's go to the jump pick. And this is the hardest of them all to do. You'll need to know how to be up and hair strafe. So if you don't know how to do that already, don't worry, the mechanics that I already showed you before, the types of pick uh, are the most fundamental things and it will also work. You only need to know them. This is just a little bit extra, but yeah, this is the jump pick. It's also to bait an up shot. And at the same time, it's an easier way to get info without getting killed. So it goes like this. And I'll explain what is happening. So basically, I'm running towards the angle that I want to pick and get the info from. And then I'm pressing diagonals for the direction that I want to pick. 
and then I'm falling back to cover with the opposite keys, right? But for you to be able to move mid hair to the direction where you are actually strafing, your mouse needs to follow smoothly that direction. So if I want to go right on, on in the middle of the air, my mouse needs to go right to. If I want to fall back, I, I need to go, uh, my mouse needs to go to the left. So this is what is happening. If I, if I were to not move my mouse, then this would happen. As you see, I'm not moving my mouse. I'm pressing the same keys and this is what's happening. If I move my mouse, then this happens, as you can see. So if I want to fall back, I would have to also put my move my mouse to the left, as you can see. So I'm going forward, going front and back, and this is the mechanic. You can try to practice it. If you don't get it uh, in after a couple of times, don't worry. I'll, I'll do an entire video explaining how to do that and how to actually be up as well. Okay, those were the most important picks that you needed to know, but now I'm gonna give you guys a little extra. I'm gonna teach you guys the op picks. And there's basically three ways on how to pick with an op, and that is counter strafing, crouch picking, and jump picking as well. So I'll teach you guys what are those picks and when to use it. Let's start with the um, counter strafe. So the counter strafe, as you see, if I'm only strafing, the red dot doesn't appear. It only appears when I press the opposite key, and that is when I counter strafe. So the most common way of picking with an op is to pick and then counter strafe so you guys are able to actually get that kill. You should use this more when you're in open areas and you're coming from unpredictable spots. So if I'm clearing C-Long with an op, people won't expect me to be doing this right. So I can just be uh, sitting up, like standing up, sorry, and clearing with counter strafe like this. You only want to do this coming from unpredictable spots because you know your enemy's crosshair will be at head height and you as an opera, you don't wanna get one hit, uh, one shot, I mean. So you should only do this when you're coming from unpredictable spots. If you are actually coming from predictable spots and you're in close areas, um, you want to actually do the crouch pick so you throw your enemy's crosshair off. So the crouch pick is basically, and I'll, I'll give you an example on a, on, a, on a better spot. It's basically when, imagine they already know you're coming from here, there's a guy holding there. The crouch pick is when you pick and you crouch. So like this, so you pick and you crouch and you're clearing angles like this. They already know you're coming from there, but when you pick their crosshair is at head level, but then they have to readjust to you uh, and that throws their aim off and gives you the advantage uh, to get that first bullet really quick. Okay, for the last one is the jump picking and it follows the same principle as the white picking with the rifle because jump picking is when you jump an angle and you pick and then when you do this, you're in the middle of nowhere without cover. Obviously, if you're playing jet, you get to do this once, shoot and then you're in cover already. So this is something that you can do. The jump pick is to surprise the enemy, you know? So when you know, it's the same principle as white picking. When you know that you're taking a 1v1 duel, you want to jump pick and, and give the shot because that throws the enemy's crosshair off because you're jumping in the air, so it isn't able to get that headshot. Usually, um, when you're coming from predictable spots, but you know that is a 1v1 uh, duel, you can do that jump. You can come here on double doors, do this, get the kill, and then fall back. That's that's basically it for the picks, guys. I truly hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope that it was helpful. Here's the previous video explaining to you guys how to properly counter strafe, so you get to know how to do that quick pick. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Smash that like button, subscribe to help me help more people, and see you guys in the next video next week.